Hi, in this video, you'll learn how to put Booleans to work using something called an if statement. So far, you have written programs that run sequentially. The Python interpreter goes through each line of your program one at a time from top to bottom. So you can visualize the execution of your program like this. Here's an example program from a previous lesson that runs sequentially. The magic red arrow would just run the first line, and then the second line, and then the third line, and so forth, without ever deviating from its path. Now, you're going to start writing programs that may or may not take a detour from the usual order of execution, depending on circumstances. You can do this using an if statement. An if statement is a programming construct that allows a program to behave differently depending on circumstances. You can use if statements to write programs that do different things depending on what the user does. In the program demonstrated on the right, the response depends on how the user's age compares to 18, the age at which one is legally allowed to vote in the US. In this case, the user is old enough. And in this case, the user isn't, and the program says so. The core part of this, the part of the program that makes these decisions, is an if statement. It looks like this. You have the word if, a condition, which I'll describe in a second, and a colon, and then you have some lines of code afterwards. This part of the statement, the condition, must be something that evaluates to a Boolean. If the condition evaluates to true, the Python interpreter will execute whatever is inside the if statement. This is the code that gets executed if the condition was true. This is called the body of the if statement. Everything in the body of the if statement must be indented by one level. The condition can be something as simple as a Boolean value, called a Boolean literal. In this case, the body of the if statement will always run. True always evaluates to true, the same way that 3 always evaluates to 3. In this case, the body of the if statement will never run because false never evaluates to true. It's false. The condition can also be a variable. In this case, the body of the if statement might run depending on the value of has dog. If has dog is true, the body will run. If has dog is false, nothing happens. What if we want to do something different if has dog is false? We can use a more complex type of if statement that looks like this. We stick the word else and a colon after our original if statement, and then we include lines of code that specify what should happen if has dog is false. The word else is not indented by one level. It should line up vertically with the word if. Then everything that should be executed if the condition was false is indented by one level. It should line up vertically with the code under the word if, but before the word else. So now that we have two blocks of code in the if statement, we need some way to describe them other than calling them the body. When an if statement has both an if component and an else component, the blocks of code in them are commonly called branches. The block under the if component is called the if branch, and the block under the else component is called the else branch. Tying this back to the visualization from earlier, you can imagine that the blue circle is a piece of code that prints hello to the screen. The interpreter may or may not visit that circle depending on the value of condition. And in this example, the interpreter could take one of two possible paths depending on the value of condition. So take a look at the eyes of that insect looking thing on the left, and imagine that the circle on the left is the if branch, and the circle on the right is the else branch. Let's go to the editor and see another example. All right, I'm gonna write a program that's going to help me decide whether or not I need to walk the dog. And the sole criterion for whether or not I need to walk the dog is whether or not I have a dog. So let's represent that second thing as a Boolean variable. I'm gonna call it has dog. And for now, I'm gonna make it equal to true. So yep, I have a dog, cool. I've always wanted to have a dog. Now I'm gonna print do I need to walk the dog? And I'm going to answer my own question. And the way in which I answer my own question is going to depend on the value of has dog. So I'm going to say if has dog, and if it is the case that I have a dog, I'm going to print, yep, I do have to walk the dog. So if I run this, it's going to print, do I need to walk the dog? And it's going to print that no matter what. Then on line five, it's going to check the value of has dog, and since it is true, the print statement on line six is going to execute, and it's going to say yep. Now if I change this to false and run this, now it just says do I need to walk the dog, and it's left there as an unanswered question, which is a little weird. So what we need to do is create an else branch. I'm going to say else. Now this will only execute if it wasn't the case that I have a dog. So in this case, I'm going to say print, nope, I don't have a dog. 
And now if I run this, it's going to say, do I need to walk the dog? Nope, I don't have a dog.